I think we've all seen a lot of these uh, street lights with these monstrosities uh, on top of them. That is these uh, big photo cells. Um, but they have more options. They appear to be uh, local remote control as well and uh, dimming. And it can be controlled from a separate office. So I'll just energize this device here. And let it go through the cycle. Um, this is one of these. Uh, Fancy ones and a NEMA LCU load control unit. I think you can dim with them. They have extra contacts. Not all lamps are designed for it. Um, so, here yeah, it's going through a cycle. The light just dimmed. So, I've done a dimming session there. Well, you normally have the normal photo cell. That's one of these that normally switches on and off at a certain lux setting. There we go, it's switched off now because uh, we have uh, daylight. So we're going to open one up and see what we can find in it. So I'm going to unplug it, unplug safety first, energize device and take the capsule out. So it's a twist lock, cray foot. A lot of contacts in here, so you've got the main contacts, neutral, active and uh, switched out. Control contacts there, control contacts there. And if we look at the lamp, this one only got two contacts, so this is your quay foot here. There's two contacts here for some form of control and these have been not populated. That lamp is not designed for it. So yeah, we're gonna have a look in uh, this capsule. Show you the name label here. As you can see this this has the extra contacts. Four little Phillips screws. Take the lid off. I'm gonna open it up and this is another one that uh, only got two contacts for switching and then a standard three contacts for the uh, other part. Okay, the screws have been loosened and I'm gonna see if I can open this device up. Oh, there we go, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna have a look at what we can find. Got quite a nice aromatic smell, so there is a uh, battery device on here. It's quite a lot of stuff. A little mirror. Not sure what that's the reason for. It might be part of the aerial. So if you look at this for the sake of controlling a street light, there's a lot of electronics. Well, you basically only need an on off for a street light, whether it's a pilot or it's a uh, uh, fancy uh, standard photo cell with a thermal element in it. parts in it, so I'll stop it here. Interesting, made in Israel. This is interesting because they do make a lot of military, so I'll, my guess is it's good quality. So there's capacitor there, this is a type of, what's that, it's not sure, it's probably a tire or something. It's a big box in here, relay type thing, I guess. Try to get numbers on clear on the camera. It's well made. Not all the parts are populated. I'm gonna have a look by the other one as well, see if there's any differences in there. Uh, it can have other things in there. Maybe for different dimming options or So, Vina Tesh, Super Capacitor Vina Tesh. Doesn't sound any puff off. But um, there will be a certain amount of puffs in there, I guess. It is a well made device, I have to say. And these are the contacts. I'm going to open the other one on and see what we find in there. The hood of the capsule is just clear, plain. Polycarbonate, I guess, and that screws are tapped into here. So, yep. Having a further look at it, this looks like an antenna, um, the way that's 
it's there that's gonna connect up to here and that is probably going in the silver boxes underneath here and that is part of an uh, High frequency tuned circuit, I think. It's very well made. So here have the bases, they're both in the same position, and I'm going to turn them around and I'll see the differences in the top part. So the layouts are a bit different, definitely. I'll zoom in a bit more. Pillars go in the same position, so I've got the two domes here. Main difference the way I look at it is on the left one we got the blue capacitor, we got a tire rester here, we got an opto coupler here, and that's missing on the other side. Lamp it's got the extra contacts, uh, the extra which weren't populated in the other lamp. Just by carefully analyzing the cables from here, I'll see those two wires here, they have not been connected, they're just sitting taped up here. The other two wires, which we saw moved on the other lamp, are actually for dimming functions, they... Uh... Hang on, I'll get the camera in a better uh, position. So those two wires are the grey and the purple wire, D-A-L, D-A, normal and light, and that we first see something switch on and uh, some dimming function here. So that's a part of the power supply in here. Then you've got the white and the red is just AC, alternating current. And there's a big capacitor, I'll zoom this out. Capacitor on top here in the street light. Just gonna test it out, the lamp or the LED component in here. So that's the package, this thing got damaged somehow, so that's why it got disposed of. This particular lamp is on the Model Tesman 3070-240 volts LED 30 watts 0.289 ampere power factor over 0.9 made in China IP66 there you go